Hi, this is Professor Mendez Escobar here, and welcome back to the video series where I cover child observation interpretation. If you have not checked out the first two videos in this series, please make sure that you do so. And then make sure that you also cover the, the specific areas, particularly that of physical development and social emotional development that are also a part of this series. In this video, I'll be talking about cognitive development interpretations. Let's get started. It's important that we recall what cognitive development encompasses. Cognitive development is the acquisition, that means getting, and changes in skills such as thinking, perceiving, problem solving, reasoning, and the use of language. There are also some relevant theories and concepts. When we're thinking about theories, relevant theories of cognitive development are Piaget's theory of cognitive development, Vygotsky's social cultural learning theory. When we're thinking about milestones, some key milestones to consider in this developmental domain are the language developmental milestones. So how does language develop over time in childhood? What are the milestones that we expect at what point in during childhood? And then some key concepts that continuously come up, particularly when we're thinking about child cognitive development, is that of problem solving and cause and effect. So when you're doing a cognitive development interpretation, you need your observation. So make sure that you pause this video and click the link below so that you can observe the video of these two children playing. If you've already watched it for the other videos in this series, make sure that you still pause and take a look and focus on cognitive development. Once you've observed the video, some questions that you might ask yourself can be, which theory best explains this observation? And what are other concepts that might be relevant here? Some, some answers for you might be, Vygotsky's theory best explains what's happening in this video, particularly because Vygotsky's theory focused on the social aspect of learning. So in this case, you have two children and you've got one that is providing suggestions about what they can possibly do. Perhaps this child might have already built a train track before and they have some ideas about what works and they're sharing that with their peer. In Vygotsky's theory, we know that children learn through social interactions and they learn from someone that knows just a bit more than they do. That's the more knowledgeable other or MKO. So in this case, the child that is making the suggestions about what to do based on perhaps prior experience, they can be the MKO. And remember, when you're making observations about um, children's development, you're always focusing on the development of one child. So even though Vygotsky's theory focuses on the social aspect of learning, the focus is still one child. So when you observe an observation like the one that you just looked at in the video, there's two children there, pick one. Okay, another thing to consider oh, as we're thinking about what other concepts might be relevant here is that of problem solving. The problem is, how are we going to build this train track? We've got all of these pieces and they go in different ways. What's the best way? What's gonna be um, the, the how do we want to direct the track? How do we wanna direct the train? And what pieces do we want to use? So when you're writing about cognitive development, just as you would write about any other interpretation, excuse me, observation that you would interpret, you would recap, the observation, short two to three sentences. You would explain and apply a particular theory, in this case, Vygotsky's theory, and you would explain and apply a relevant concept, in this case, that of problem solving. And remember, the reason why you write interpretations of child observations is to show your evidence of understanding course content. And the way that you do that is, 
by using terms, explaining the terms, citing references, and focusing your writing on the writing prompt. That concludes this video. You can watch this video and any of the other videos in the series as many times as you need. And remember, watch all the other videos and make sure that when you are writing, you show your evidence of understanding course content. I'll catch you in another video.